Welcome to the Northbridge Flute Academy and today we're looking at Tambourin by Gossek. Now he was a composer, he was, his dates were from 1734 through to 1829. So it was kind of late classical and then going into the beginning of the, the very, very early stages of the Romantic period. Tambourin is just a very simple, adorable piece that's allegro vivace and it has got a few things for us to look out for. First of all, there are quite a lot of staccato notes in this, and the most important thing about a staccato note is that it isn't something that's short and spiky. I always think with a staccato note there should be a warning triangle above it rather than a dot, because a staccato note for me means really focus on the style of the articulation you're using. Don't just peck at the notes like a woodpecker. And in this arrangement, I've marked out some of the notes that need to be longer. The very first note of the piece, dum ba da dum bum bum. So we just don't go pick pick it up pa pa. Very important to do that. Uh, the the melody is simple. It needs lots of shape. And again, in this particular edition, I've added a, quite a few of these to encourage us to actually go somewhere with our sound. It's not just a case of getting louder. It's actually having direction in the sound. That we're making so therefore rather than thinking oh that means louder it means go somewhere as in let's get a li little bit more intense here that's very important there are some writs in there that you're going to have to look out for and then uh, later on in the piece around about bar 51 there's some finger work for you we've got yum Yum, a little lump a little lump a little lump so we've been bar 51 for example we have A workout for those two fingers and we know that the, those fingers don't like to move. That goes through that passage and then towards the end of the piece after the tune has come back we've got some double tonguing to contend with and this needs to be lively and sprightly and we don't want it to sound like a machine gun so not tucka 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 which for me sounds like a tractor anyway but I was just and in that way, by varying the vowel sound of the double tonguing, we won't get tired. The tongue won't go into gridlock. So try something along the lines of and your, your tongue will thank you for that. What I found with this piece is that quite often, because the opening is not that technically demanding, people set off at a very swift tempo. Fantastic. However, the difficult part is at the end. And what I've also heard, yum, no, you can't do that. So I would suggest you practice the end first. Practice the bit with all the 16th note strokes, semi quavers, at a tempo that your tongue can manage, and then take that tempo at the start. So don't put the brakes on at bar 80. And that's it. Enjoy Tambouran by Gossek.